Hello, Gemma, how's it going? I'm a little bit early. Because I was thinking if I can be early, then I'll just hop on early. It's going good. Got a lot of work done today. Hopefully finish this game tonight for the second time. How you doing, Gemma? I'm just getting my stuff shared. Shared online here. I think I'm good. I think I've done what I need to do. I can kind of, like, I finally figured out a way to get things kind of ready. S yep, and Twitch looks good, and Facebook looks good. Everything looks good. Excellent. All right. I'm done. I'm done the sharing things. Gemma says, I'm drawing some Xmas cards. That that sounds good. I'm curious to see what you're drawing for Xmas cards. I was actually looking at Xmas cards today. Real talk. For anyone that is in my circle that sees this stuff, I was looking at some Xmas cards today. A uh, quick reminder, I did hop on, I think it was on Saturday or Friday because I kind of screwed up one of the levels and I think I glitched the game so I couldn't move past it so I'm like I need to just get in there and try to finish it so that's what I did so I'm where I should be I think I can finish this tonight I think in, in the next two hours two and a half hours now that I kind of know what to do um, I think I can finish this game if not finish it on Thursday and I can finish the Memorial Cup. I can get back to hockey for a second. Although I probably forgot how to play. Thank God you're all right. All right, skipping. Speed run. Oh, I like this level. This level's good. This level's like all gun battles. I'm just turning the game down a little bit. A bit loud. Gemma says you'll see soon. I hope to finish it in the next days. Sounds good. It's gonna be a weird Christmas. And if I'm going to die in here. Yeah, we're not dying in this thing. I feel like I don't have guns already. Out of ammo. Yeah. Yeah, I need guns. Oh, he just totally hit me with his... Oh. I'm like really low on guns. I wish I could zoom out a little bit. Okay, that thing needs to be stomped on. It's not letting me stomp on it. Oh, I gotta knife it. Bullets. Bullets. Reload the guns. Some health. I'm like walking very casually. I'm I'm one of the things at this level, I'm happy I didn't have to drive. Cause like I hate when you have to drive and shoot in games. It's really annoying. Alright. I don't know how long we'll be safe here. Not very long. Can I get out? 
That took longer than it should have because. Uh oh. Now what? Now what indeed? Sebastian, they're above us. Who's got dynamite? One down. Oh, what a oh! I didn't see. Don't don't. Okay, I was about to say that hit the side of the truck. Not good. I'm already like, oh, someone conveniently throws some shell, uh, throws some ammo down. Good night. Get to cover. They're shooting from above. This is not good. I'm not good for guns right now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, stop reloading. Oh, that was right in the knee. You're gone. More of them on the move. I do like how the um Hey Don, how's it going? Gemma, how's it going? I'm already like into stuff right now. Oh come on, I hit him in the elbow. Oh, shoot. On top of us. Too many. Okay, that's where I definitely should have had that canister. Oh, he shot him and I was shooting at the same time. Is he not? Usually only takes one bullet. This is not good. I can't. It went under his elbow. I am low on bullets. Kelly, how's it going? Kelly is joining us from YouTube. Just a little bit quiet for a second. Okay, I thought I hit that guy. Now cutscene, and there's a gas truck there. Conveniently. Don says elbows are bony. <laughs> that was a close one. I think I did. I hit a few of them in the elbow and a few of them in the knee. All right. This is a fun level, though. There's, there's just, it's all shootout. You don't have to drive. It's nice. Thanks for joining early, everybody. I know I said nine, but I, I was aiming for eight, but I had a couple things that I needed to get done this evening. I was like, you know what? Nine is safe, and if I can hop on earlier, I'm going to. Keep us to the left up here. How's the audio? This is a louder level. Oh. This thing gave me some guns. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? If Patterson was here, he'd like this. I feel like that should have stopped it. Out of ammo. Oh, I'm always out of ammo. Oh, now let's grab my leg. had guns. Jeez. Oh, we got it. I am so low on ammo right now. It's ridiculous. Still got machine gun though. Got grenades. Oh, you got ammo. Just gonna stab that. 
Okay, that didn't have ammo for a change. Alright, skipping. Speed run. No time for that. We know what's gonna happen. Where See? are we heading, Joseph? Speed run. Skip. Uh, Don says that thing is huge, and Cindy says sits behind Gemma. Cindy says that's what Just she says. It's pretty big. It's a pretty There's big monster there. there. There might be some kind of first aid. All right. I'll go. No, I'll do it. Don't let any of I'll do it because I need the guns. Go take him my guns. Oh, support bottle. Is that a support brick? Oh, that's health. I should actually use some health. A little bit of liquid courage there. I have... Oh, there we go. I didn't think I was going to get that good of a shot there. Bullets. I thought you had bullets. Just need you to not get up. Oh, this might work. This might work. Kind of worked. I did have a plan there. So I do see there's stuff in the chat right now. I just I have to pay attention. Out of ammo. Oh shoot. Oh no. Can I climb over that? No, I can't. Farts. Farts. Okay, I don't want to have to do this. I like how the better the gun that I have, the worse my aim is sometimes. Oh, come on, come on. Okay. We need some more ammo. Uh, City says, I was wondering how long before you saw me. Yes, no, I saw you. I did see the names come in. I did see that. I need more health. Oh, it's... I'm just so not good with guns right now. Oh, there's a guy with a rifle over there. I can't waste this. I was like way too reckless starting this level. That's my fault. Came in a little too confident. Now I can't see where this guy is. I still don't see where he is. Part of me wants to just throw in the towel on this. This is such a bad run. Oh, he's... <sighs> One of us is going to win that. I'm so low on guns. Cindy says, uh, next Tuesday marks two years since I've been friends with you, Dane, and Brendan and Reed. It was, you're saying it was two years since we were in Winnipeg. I remember that show. I think it was also, um, no, it wasn't, uh, I, I thought for a second maybe it was um, Jericho's birthday too or something. So I feel like I remember that. 
You know what? If I die, I die in this game. In the, like in this run. I'm so low on stuff right now. So low on guns. Shouldn't take that many bullets. I don't want him to get up. So just ignore this. Because usually if their head's gone, then they're not going to get back up. I just don't want to light anything on fire because there's that big canister right there. Jericho's birthday was a week before. Okay. I'm trying to, because I know it was when we were out. Because we did have a little bit of birthday celebration. It was good. Yes, there comes the truck. So, so very low on bullets. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in a way that's going to be good. So he says, but I remember Jericho and I traded tweets back and forth with him. He's a super nice guy. Oh, this is, oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, I got blown up by that thing. I'm not sure how to do this. Get my hands on that machine. Can I get in there? Can I get in there? Okay, this is this is gonna buy me some time. Because I have this gun now. Oh you Seriously, you. I just hope there's lots of guns at the end of this, because I definitely need guns. There's more. Oh. I'm trying. I'm really having a rough go here. What happened? It's like, oh, I gotta go back to the truck. A little bit of football going on here. I know there's lots of goo and stuff, but I, I just, I gotta get through this. Katie, how's it going? So he's saying he is a Winnipegger after all. We're all super nice. Yeah, Winnipeg's nice. A lot of nice people there. I remember being very cold. 
And I remember them telling us because like Shit. Farewell to Fear's bus didn't really close, like their doors didn't lock properly. Let's get out of here fast. And then be like people at the venue being like, Yeah, definitely keep an eye. Definitely keep an eye on your vehicle. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. I don't know if I'm supposed to hit them or not. I'm just gonna run them over. This is as much as you get to drive in this. All right, skipping. See, it's a quick level. Kay says, I'm good. How about yourself? I'm good. Got a lot of work done today. Got to start this a little bit early today. That was good too. Did a really crap job on that last level. I thought I would do better, but I didn't. But I, I'm, I'm, Mature enough to admit I didn't do a good job. That's okay. I'll just keep going. Don says it's freezing there. It's a little it's a little chilly in Toronto too, but it's not it's not bad yet. We're not into the minus twenty Celsius. Where you just don't want to do anything. That that being said too, it's like with everyone working from home right now, it's kinda nice. Not having to get up super early, although I don't mind driving my lovely wife to the subway station so she can go to work and not take the bus to get there. Um, I do not mind not having to do that. So. Alright, 13. I need help. I need help. You just keep doing what you're doing. I'm just gonna, oh, gonna pick me up here. I'm so low on guns. I hated having to use my my machine gun at all. I just want to save it. Three things to go. It's good. Twenty two hundred goo bucks there. That looks exactly like uh, Jessica's luggage. That's what it looks like. Oh, I think it broke on the last trip. Oh, shotgun shells. This game right now is looking for guns and ammo. Uh. Since this dude try to live in minus 30 to 40 weather and dead wind. Oh, I, I know about that too. We can get minus 30 here. But I, I remember one of the we coldest. We get down there. One of the coldest I've experienced was in Winnipeg. Um, I was on tour with, with Age of Days. And I remember the, the motel that we were at. Like the door in the morning was all like frozen on the inside. Like there's, you could see like a triangular shape where all the frost had come in through the door. And I'm like, that is cold. What is going on here? So, I remember we went out for dinner that night too, and like I had bought my like legit winter boots, so I was fine. But everybody else was freezing, because it was like minus forty. It sucked. It was cold. It's been a while <laughs> since oh, it's not been a while. Are you gonna go spend some goo bucks? Yeah, I almost have a hundred thousand goo bucks. I know I was gonna try to get to a hundred thousand, but I'm curious about something. Jen is saying Illustrator failed and I forgot to make the backup. I'm so sorry to hear that. That is one of those things. It does not feel good. It's not a good feeling. I'm gonna upgrade the syringe. Um, I had kind of had that this morning. I was I was finishing details from the uh, the Deer Bands live stream um, this morning, and I got the the YouTube stuff done, and then I up uploaded the thumbnail that I made, and then I thought I saved it because I was checking it, and on one of my other browsers I hit refresh, and then it went back to like where it was before. So all the stuff that I typed in there I didn't have anymore. I was I was pretty sad about it. Because I was like, I don't exactly remember what I put in there. It wasn't cool. So another feeling. I'm sorry to hear that, Gemma. It is not a good feeling. Uh, 
Oh, man. I'm wondering if I can upgrade anything and if they'll give me more, like, ammo and stuff. That's a big jump. Six to ten for grenades. Uh, explosive bolt. No. I'm going to upgrade my abilities. I'm just going to go for that. Life gauge, 20,000. A lot of goo bucks. Don says, remember moon boots. Moon boots. Are those like the silver ones. We had an old housemate, uh, like when I first moved to Toronto. And she had these pair of moon boots. Because she, I swear to God, she was like, she stayed at the house maybe three nights of the, the year and a half that she actually lived there. She stayed at her boyfriend's the whole time. And um, she like left a couple weird things. And one of them was this like silver space boots. And then right, my housemate and I were just kind of looking at each other and it was like, I don't know. They're like wacky space boots. Is that acid? Sounds like acid. Oh man, I would have, I would have, I would add 10,000 if I just waited. If I'd have been a little bit patient. Don't want to get hit with acid. I will say, Gemma, one of my things too is I, I whenever I gotta write stuff, I always write it in in Gmail because, like, Gmail saves all the time, or I use Google Docs. But also, like, I make lots of versions of things when I'm creating stuff, if I'm mixing and stuff, or if I'm recording. I'm constantly making new versions of stuff while we're recording, like save as instead of just save. That's just my way of keeping track of stuff. But also, if there's something catastrophic that happens and. I know I can go back to a legit, like, full saved version. Skip it! Jesus. Skip it! What could cause this much damage? It's ruined my speedrun. Is that a subway sticking out of the ground? Oh, yeah, back yeah. to the sandwiches. Oh. Look how it's positioned. Uh, pickles and olives. Over there. We might be able to use it to get across. I'm Let's not a big fan of subway of sandwiches, here. but on tour. Sometimes all you want is Subway, because all you want is just a bunch of veggies. Even though people would argue they're not exactly veggies at Subway, it is definitely better than nothing. I remember that. Just drop, drop down. Uh oh, uh oh. Don says, you're too young to remember those. No, I wore those in Winnipeg back in early 1980s Hold in the on. 40 below weather. I think I they see worked. another way down. I'll meet you on a lower level. It is good when footwear works in the cold. That was, that was my, I think it was like four years ago. Um, got, got a gift card. Gift, well, gift, gift card with some money in it. Damn it. And I'm like, you know what? First I'm going to put these now. towards like actual winter boots. Like the not cool at all, just like. Well, no pun intended. Um, like, I'm wearing these. Oh, no. This is, this is kind of bad, because, like, I don't have a lot of weapons to deal with these guys. Uh, Don says, I'm really old, Cindy. <laughs> Nobody is really old here. We're all young at heart. Katie says, I can't even imagine having to deal with 40 below. I don't think I'll complain about the cold again. 40 below is cold, but I, I think below 20, it kind of doesn't matter anymore. It's just really cold. Because, like, everything's just cold. And you just hope the vehicle starts. And, yeah, it's just, it's just sucky. Okay, I need to put this back down there. I need to make a couple of those. I'll get that ready. I am so low on guns. Because the thing is, those those crazy safe head guys, they regenerate. That's the problem. 
Gemma says I usually do that. Uh, forgot to do it. The most. It, it sucks because like when you forget to do it, it's like that's the reminder. And you're like, I didn't need this kind of reminder for it. Oh, there we go. Ten bullets in there. I hear you. Oh, there's a tripwire there. I'm gonna try to actually be somewhat safe. I've just been running and gunning the whole time here. Feel like someone probably heard that. Oh, he has a stupid mask on. I don't like any of this. And I don't know if that's the big guy or not. This is bad. Oh, no. No, set them on fire. I can't set him on fire. Oh, he exploded though. Oh, this is bad again. It went from like being not good to bad. So I ran out of bullets again. Oh, I got my support bottle. That's good. I'm really in trouble if the big guy shows up. Uh, Gemma says there's no security copy by the app. Oh, that sucks. Let's just start again. K says there's supposed to be zombies. They're kind of zombies, but like, they're kind of not. The way that the game kind of described it, it's like. Okay, in a really weird way, um, there was these, this village of people that. I can't even explain it. They're kind of in your mind. They're bad people in your brain. So. That was a lot of goop. This is bad. I'm going to keep saying that because this is not good. I'm so low on ammo. I feel like the second playthrough, there's way more enemies. Or way less ammo. I feel like maybe they want you to do more stealth stuff instead of me just running and shooting everything. Which does work. If you've got the bullets for it, it's not a bad plan. I jump over there? Nope. That looks like guns. That's a grenade. Uh, so it says eating caramel ice cream. That sounds delicious. Ice cream in general is good. Big fan. Don says, had a crave for chocolate today. Chocolate is delicious. Also a big fan. I don't know where I am in the game right now. Like I, oh, I know it.
See if that guy will chase that and I can stealth stealth get him. Can I get him? Alright. It's been a while. Oh, sorry. I didn't look at that. Why are you bullets? I think in here I saw there was a trap behind the door. Yeah. Got it. Oh, there's just tons of traps in this room. Don says, and harder to kill a uh, zombie. Like, yeah, well, there's so, like some of them have these like metal masks on. And so you can't headshot them. Like you can't just shoot them in the face, which is like, that's what you want. Just want to be able to shoot them in the face. All right, that that big guy's gonna show up in a second. Don's laughing at something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it was funny, but let's go with it. Tons of traps. Come on, bullets. Yes. Put them into the gun. Gemma says, I'll start again tomorrow, my back hurts. That's what you do sometimes. Sometimes you just shut it down. I really hate having to do stuff twice. That is definitely my pet peeve. I've done something once and I gotta do it again. <laughs> Don says, do you find that they're harder to kill in this run? I, I think so. Like my brain says it a little bit more difficult. Cause like, I don't remember having any issues with uh, ammo um, last time, but I feel like I've been out of bullets like a lot point okay big guys down here I can hear him this is not good yeah I've had a lot less bullets and like I think maybe they are a little bit tougher what do I have here got that one grenade got some machine guns got rocket launchers Again, the issue with this guy is uh, when he, I'm putting that there uh, just in case. He regenerates. You can't just like hit him once and call it a day. See, that, he comes out of those things. I just don't know what he's doing. Because, like, all those safes he can come out of. Which is not cool. But I can hit him with the explosive charge and then... Oh, cause I remember this. Because you gotta... It takes a while to deactivate this thing. And he comes, I think he, he spots you here. Oh man, this, I, my heart's going right now. I don't want to fight that guy. Okay, rats. Hey, rats. Oh, I can't go that way. It's all stinky. Stinks too bad. All right, I got through that. Michelle, how's it going? Jason Humby, how's it going? <laughs> Jason, Jason saying, friend from public school, go way back. 
Jason say maybe you can talk to him. Definitely can't talk to the guy with the safe on his head and the giant hammer with like the pick part at the one side, which goes through your face. He is not much for conversation. Definitely not, not good for coffee talk. Checkpoint, I like that. Kidman, are you in there? Oh, Kidman. I'm surprised I didn't have to fight that guy. Let's just sneak through. Don says, when did you start this game the first time? Uh, I've, I'm, this is episode 17. Uh, I do two a week-ish. So I would, I would say three months. Ago. Well, in October. Beginning of October, I think. Because this is supposed to be the Halloween theme scary thing. Although I did pick up another game, which is scarier. What do you mean I can't pick this up? What is that? Oh, they're magnum rounds. That's why I can't pick it up. That is just, that's farts. That's a, that's a big old bunch of farts. Can't pick those up. Jason's saying you need a heart rate monitor for this one. You, like, yeah, you do. <laughs> Again, the issue with this one is like the lack of bullets right now. Haven't you figured it out yet? No, I have. Well, I have technically since my second playthrough. Can I skip it? No. Has to let them know he has the upper hand. saying, by the way, I got a beginner tattoo Eight. course just to start as soon as possible as I get my first tattoo. Work. That's hardcore, Gemma. Try not to do the thing that a lot of my friends did. They got tattoo stuff where they start tattooing their own leg. I could see it. Because they can see it. I had to know the truth. I want to skip this. I'm good. Oh, Detective Castellanos. Lady, level with me. Yes, you're going crazy. Am I going crazy? If one wishes to survive, one must avoid having to. Oh, I'm gonna go hang out in the crazy goo chair for a second. So he says that no wonder you don't remember how you got through this room. I I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, melee damage, no, don't need to do that. 3,000, nope. I think I can just, well, yeah, if I had got this earlier, I could have got the magnum rounds. I'm almost all maxed out with most of my stuff here. Just looking for a second, see if anything I can do here. Shotgun, reload time, fire rate. I wonder if they'll give me more shotgun shells if I reload this. Because they do that with health. If you get health, they're like, here. Here's more bullets. Nope, they didn't do it. I already had those bullets. I know I already had those bullets. All right, I'm going to get out here. For anyone watching this for the first time, Kim, how's it going? For anyone watching this for the first time, there's a lot of things that just don't make any sense, and you just kind of roll with it. Like that goo, and yeah. How you doing, Kim? Katie's saying, my 20-year-old daughter is addicted to tattoos. She got her first one about a year ago. Now she has 10, I think. Her boyfriend does tattoos, so she gets them for, oh, that's, that is a slippery slope. That is a slippery slope. Oh, I, I think I remember some of this. There's a big spider fight down here, I think, in this level. And, like, I don't think you have to kill the spider thing, but they reward you handsomely if you do. All right. Someone down the hall. Yep, happy birthday, Kim. A lot of birthdays. A lot of birthdays lately. 
I can't see if that's the big guy or if that's just a guy. I can't tell. All right, let's see if this works. Okay, uh, those guys have explosives on them, so I guess I figured that one out. Kim says tattoos are definitely more addictive. I have ten and want more. I I'll when I turned sixteen and started getting into piercings, I was like, I see how this is a slippery slope. And oh, get out! I stopped it too, because <laughs> I saw what some of my friends were doing to their bodies. It's like you know what? I'm gonna just wait. Because I feel like they might not want some of this stuff when you get older. But I understand that's just me. That's just how my brain works. That is my brain. Oh, there's tons of goo. Tons of goo. And some bullets. stuff in here <laughs> Melody how's it going it's Melody's birthday today I do believe happy birthday Melody a lot of birthdays Uh, Kate says every time she comes to visit, she has a new one. Yeah, no, you're gonna if you got if you got a hookup for tattoos, if you like tattoos, you're probably gonna get a lot of tattoos. That is one of those things. Uh, Cindy says your ears are burning. I swear. Melody says good. Thanks. Got my haircut. Got birthday haircut. That sounds good. I feel like that's been in a way like the running joke this year is like the COVID haircut. So many people have just not got their haircut. I was going to make a joke. Kim, uh, Kim said that's because Valentine's Day is nine months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Timing. I will say it's it in a way it's a little bit funny. The amount of uh, babies that showed up nine months after March in Canada. So are going to be showing up. You can kind of, you can kind of tell when your work went, like you started working from home, <laughs> or things started shutting down for some people. A lot of COVID babies. That scared me for a second. I thought something bad was happening. Okay, they're giving me guns and stuff right now. There's there's something's gonna be coming up here soon. Oh shit. Support bottles. Let me carry that. Joseph? He like he can't just walk by a can. It's like he has to kick the can. It's a good can sound though, I'll give him that. They did nail the sound of someone kicking a can. In a quiet room. Jenna says, which piercings do you have? I had... Well, I have my librette done, and then I had another one in my mouth. But... thought... 20 years was long enough. <laughs> it's long enough. Got my money's worth out of that one. Oh, I remember this. This is all wonky. I might die here. Oh, this is Joey Jojo. There's old safe head guy. There's Rubik. 
and then everything gets crazy. And then you gotta get through here, and it's a bit of a oh bit of a trap. Now what? I died here last time, I think. Yeah, like you can't let those things touch you, and then there's like there's traps. Yeah, and there's the spy. Yeah, there's just stuff. There's stuff all over this one. It's just a, this one's cheap. You, when you die here, oh, knock my water over. Um, when you die here, it's cheap. Because I don't think there's like a real method to what's going on. Don says, was that the first one? No, first one was Little Brett. And my parents are like, okay. And then the other one, they're just like, what's up with that? And they stopped asking questions at that point. I know a lot of friends, they're all getting like eyebrow piercings, other stuff, their nipples done, stuff. Like, I'm good, I'm not gonna do that. So, I don't know where to go. There's fire there, there's the spikes. Oh, and there's the bolts on the ground. Hope that thing doesn't hit me and blow me up here. Oh, do not kill me. Oh, it's gonna blow me up. That was cheap. See, I told you, this this one's cheap. Oh, come on, bad driving. Alright, so that wasn't exactly fair. Kim's a big fan of the pure sniffles on the guy. I remember one of our friends in high school, uh, he got his done, but he got them, like done both at the same time. And so we just kept throwing things at him. So you have to catch them. <laughs> I I think it, nipples are one of those things too. I think you have to have, uh, it's gonna sound weird, but you have to have the right nipples for it. Cause some nipples, it's just like, you're, you're going through way too much of the actual boob and not, not the nipple part. But that's just, that's how I feel about it. It's one of those things. Piercings, like the the body part, the piercings going into is a lot. Oh, I got I got to pay you attention. Again? I got to pay attention for a second. Do I have to fight this thing here? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I I've moved. I have moved where this was, which is a big problem. Oh no, I'm stuck. Did I get him? Oh no. Okay, that was like, that was desperation. That was desperation. Get in that. Man. I was trying to hit him with the, the exploding bolt. Tristan, how's it going? He's joining us on YouTube. Sorry, I'm late. It's all good. God damn it. Appreciate you showing up, Tristan. Saying hi. Uh, Don's saying of oh, the septum piercing. You had a friend who got the septum piercing too. That looked that looked painful. There were there's some people that were putting votes in for me to get a septum piercing, and I was like, I can't do that because like my nose is itchy all the time. I can't handle it. <laughs> Case I got my nostril, but not septum. He said it's just as painful as septum. I like a lot of that stuff. Just seems like it is going to be painful. I'm surprised I got past that other part without more damage. Or dying. I thought I was gonna die there. I know I'm pretty confident in my gaming abilities, but I'd better find kid. I thought I was gonna die. Alright. I got some guns back. That's good. Just give me a second here to 
make sense of life a little bit. Just putting the bullets into the guns. I'm, so, I'm using so many of my machine gun rounds. I don't know if I can explain how sad that makes me because I really don't want to use them. I just want to save them. The RPGist in me that just wants to just save all everything all the time is just drive me nuts. Jim says so both are painful. I can imagine both are painful. Kate is saying just my eye on the side. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's it's, you're throwing metal through parts of your body, so I, I don't know. I just kind of like I think I just stepped outside my body for a second when I was when I was getting um getting my piercings done. I like I like that. Jason was saying I was gonna put this up here. Jason was saying, "I'm a carpenter by trade, so I've done a lot of my own piercings." <laughs> Oh, that's funny. And be safe. <laughs> okay, so the person's good. It's over quick. Yeah, no, definitely. But we had our friends doing our, our piercings and tattoos pretty much at our, our local. So you were kind of the guinea pig a little bit too with certain things. I think that's also the reason why I didn't get tons of stuff. So it was like, you're learning. Like, I know you have someone that's like done a lot watching you, but you're learning. I support what you're doing, but I'm totally cool just watching somebody else here. Totally cool about that. Oh, it's back outside. Can I skip this? I can skip it. Is that the end of that? Four, 13 clear. Wow. That's not a bad level. It's not as fun as some other levels, but not a bad level. Next chapter, chapter 14. I think there's only two left. Uh, Gemma says, do you know how many piercings is the nose? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you mean by that, Gemma. I'm sure somebody else with more piercings can, can in expand on that. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, same thing. I'm assuming no painful story that comes to mind to share. Not for me. Again, like I, it was pretty good getting getting mine done. So again, my buddy that got both his nipples done at the same time. We were just constantly throwing like shirts at him, shoes at him, soccer ball at him, just any, anything you could you could find. You could just toss it to him. You're like, hey, catch! And you have to catch it, and it just everything hurt. We were laughing. It was good. I only live once. Oh, I remember this one. Not enough to know which where way to go here, but. Oh, there's bullets there. Pick them up. Oh, it's drugs. Never mind. Sorry. Wow. Don's saying 17 chapters. I think there's 15 chapters. Uh, Katie said, I pierced my belly button in junior high school. I did a horrible job. It worked its way out. Tristan's gotta go. Have, have a good night, Tristan. Thanks for stopping by. Casing did it myself. I, I don't think I could do my own piercing. I don't think I could do that. Oh no. This is the worst. This is the worst drinks machine ever. It's terrible. He needs to clean this out. Someone is not making passive income with that vending machine. A terrible job. Cindy says, have you ever did a tattoo or piercing while drunk? Highly not advised to do that because alcohol is a blood thinner. And if you start bleeding, you kind of need for your blood to be able to clot. That being said, there's a lot of people that ignore science so and biology. So it is what it is. Oh, look at this. This is not safe at all. Got it. This place is a disaster. 
everyone just left for the weekend. I don't care. Okay. Safety. F I'm getting guns again. Safety first. I'm, I'm bringing the shotgun out just in case there's something in here that. Is there an arm in there? Oh, it's like a mannequin arm. Less scary, but still disturbing. Uh, Kim says I was restraining dogs the day after getting my nipples done. That sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds great. That sounds like one of the best things you can do with your torso and arms the day after getting your nipples pierced. Yeah, I don't, like, again, I'm not one to get drunk, like, ever, but, uh, or definitely in a very long time. <laughs> I do remember the last time I was drunk, though. Um, I was judging at Cherry Cola's during Indie Week, and the people that I was judging with kind of worked in the bar scene, and when the owner came by... They started giving us uh, Jager bombs, and I was like, "No, I'm good." And the owner was just like, kind of gave me that like drink look, and my buddy that was there was just kind of like shrugged his shoulders. He's like, "I think that's what today is for you." And then he t he did tell the owner, he's like, "Yeah, Mike doesn't really drink, so if because their idea was we're gonna have Jager bombs every single band, and I think there was like six bands." And he's like, "Yeah, Langford might die." <laughs> so <laughs> I remember I remember having. I think I got up to like four and I remember having to go because the, the bathroom is downstairs. I remember it felt like the longest walk ever to get to the bathroom. And yeah, and this last time I was like legit drunk. Not great. Wasn't too bad though. It wasn't like pukey or fall down or anything, but it was pretty funny. I don't, I don't, I don't miss that. But yeah, I, I don't think I'd want to be like drunk and getting tattooed. People kind of, the filter, the filter disappears. Uh, Kim says, not me, and technically ours are not supposed to do that on drunk people. If they're really drunk, they legally can't consent to procedure. That, that's a, that's a thing too. That's a thing too. Even if someone's drunk, they think they know what they're doing. They don't. It's a drunk. Just remember that. So anytime, I'm just saying, anytime someone might be like, yeah, sure, you can have my top hat and my glasses and my coat. I don't need them back. And they're inebriated. I'm going to try the Magnum. Whoa! He did like a big flip. Can I get him? Oh, wow. The Magnum took him out with one shot. That was, that was pretty good, actually. So I have lots of matches in some on fire. Actually, in Ruvik, I just said Ruvik. Pinch Ruvik on fire, too. Uh, Jason says Xbox, yeah, Xbox One. I finally slash caved slash. God, um, don't judge me for doing that. There's a bomb somewhere. Oh, there it is. Got it. Oh, that was close. That was close. Uh, yeah, no, I, I was playing 360 for a long time, and then, like, I really wanted to get Angel. So I, I managed to get a hold of that. And an Xbox. And it was good. And Brendan from the band has my 360 right now. I gave to him like the last time he was here, so it was probably a couple months ago. And I'm like, take it. Like I've got the Xbox One now, so like I I'm not using it. He's like I can't remember the actual way they worded. He's like, you just told us for like 
you know, the last two hours, all these other things that we can be working on. And you're like, oh, by the way, take my Xbox. <laughs> like, you still play games for a little bit. Like, it's, it's fine. It's no big deal. I know Brendan likes um, Skyrim, so we have that in there. This turns into a bit of a thing in a second. Oh, come on, I totally hit him. I got him a leg. They'd say, love it. Th this game is pretty good, if you're referring to that. I think I messed up. I think I did something I was supposed to do. Oh, okay, there's a bunch of friends here now. get out of this be in the water I probably shouldn't have shot that guy sorry my aim's really bad really bad with the, this gun at close range apparently let's bring go down Patterson's here Patterson you missed all the rocket launchers just for you I guess like I was supposed to deactivate those but I did not <laughs> I didn't do the right thing kind of in this game see that guy's got one of those face shields on so if you hit him in the face not take him down. Uh, I don't say I'm not a good gamer, but I totally enjoy that. Like, I'm glad people enjoy watching this a little bit. Oh no. Oh, don't judge me. Do not judge. You don't. If you were here, you'd understand. There's a lot of screaming in the background right now. Oh, this is bad. I was double bad. <laughs> I saw that at the last second. And I was waiting for the um, the little uh, prompt to show up. To be like, hey, deactivate that. And they're like, here's a bomb in your face too. Great. I need the shotgun. There's not enough space for the, the handgun. So I know my, my aim is awesome, but the shotgun's better those quarters. Patrick says bust out the machine gun and rocket I've I've used a lot. A lot more. There is wackiness going on. I got an idea. I got an idea. I think that did a lot. A lot of the things I was hoping it would do. Now to just throw a grenade in. Oh, where did you come from? Where did you come? Oh, man. It's so distraught right now. I'm just gonna do some drugs here. I don't know where that guy came from. That was kind of cheap. 
Patrick says Mike's an expert player. I'm not an expert player, but I, I thank you for the compliment. I'm very reckless. I'm slow and I'm taking a lot of damage. So not someone you'd want to watch for like tips on how to play this game. Yeah, we're just over an hour. That's good. There's nothing in here. Sensing shotgun territory. Gotta be a way to get up there somehow. I hear something. Where did you come from? Oh, you're already done because your goo came out. Ooh. Little subway bench drugs there. That's good. Katie says, I love playing games. Not much time to play anymore, but I do enjoy watching others play too. You know what? I don't have a lot of time to play games anymore either, but carving out... Because this would normally be my hockey time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And sometimes Saturdays. And I think occasionally Sundays. No, Sundays too, because it's Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Um, so that's kind of my excuse. I, I can carve out two, three hours. Because I would be, I would have been getting exercise right now. And I get to hang out with everybody. Because we can't go to shows. We don't have concerts still. Oh, you guys set this on fire. Patterson's saying, are you going to beat this game? You know what, Patterson? I know you asked that question a lot. That is the goal. I'm trying to get through this tonight. I think I, I, think I can get pretty close. All oh, these things are weird. Remember this. Do not judge. Not judge. Uh, Katie's saying they're sneaking up on you all. Like they really are. The thing is, I can I can still hear them, but like they are sneaky. Oh, that's all you feel. Whatever that stuff is. I kind of remember this one. Yep, get the thing. There we go. I saw that. Oh, it's a helmet. I could use that helmet. It's definitely a lot of need for a helmet. Gemma says, what should be next game? Uh, I, I do want to get back to hockey. I have to finish the Memorial Cup. I have a whole tournament. Whoa! It's flopping around like a big old fish. I do have a hockey tournament to, to take care of still. I don't know what's going I don't know what they I'm afraid to do anything now. I've hit it in the face twice, and this goo came out. Probably doesn't sound very good, but that's that's what happened. I have bullets for a second. Feels good. So he says, "Sorry, I'm still here. Multitasking. That's all good. It's all good." I try to I try to have descriptive video. Uh, the best I can with this as well. I know I'm not talking right now, but hmm. A lot of that looks like death. 
A lot of that looks like how accidents happen. Oh, I can't stand up. I got it. That could have been really bad news if that thing stood up while I was in there. Like, without setting it on fire first. Bunny Bane says hello from Mexico City on Twitch. What's going on, Twitch? Again, I use StreamYard, so we're going to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch all at the same time. I'm doing my version of a speedrun right now. It's not very fast. And I take a lot of damage, and I miss a lot of my shots. Alright, Goo just filled that part up. Wants you to go back here for some reason, so you just keep going back. Don't know. It's weird thinking tomorrow is November twenty fifth, because Christmas is a month away. But it's like it is, but like it doesn't feel like it. And she puts her own poster. Something? Her own poster on it. Just weird. Missing. But she's. But. 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 but Again, this, this game just messes with your mind the whole time. I got 35,000 goo bucks. I'm gonna go spend it. I should spend that. Jeremy's here. How's it going, Jeremy? Jeremy, I told you already. I'm going to keep thanking you uh, for like a good another 48 hours. Thanks again for being my guest on Dear Man's Live yesterday. It was really good. I had a lot of fun. And also, I didn't say it enough. Your background, you've you've won. If there was an award this year for the best background that a guest has had, including like Brendan's, even though Brendan's probably not going to be a guest on the show, uh, for a bit. I got, I, that's a well I'm not going to go to unless I really have to. Um, so I'm trying to get some other people on there, but eventually I'll have, I'll have everybody on there. But your background was, as the kids would say, your background was lit. So, or fire. I don't think the background slaps though. I think that's different. But uh, yeah, it was it was pretty awesome. My first thought was like, whoa, that's, that's pretty wicked. I don't have lasers. Uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh, Magnum ammo. Let's let's go for it. Let's go for it. Actually, no. Let's let's go to abilities for a second. Syringe recovery. Let's let's max that out. Oh yeah, the full effect of the drugs. Patterson, the background was killer. It was killer background. It was the best background. No, it was a good chat. It was a good chat yesterday. And it's hard because, like, we usually end up chatting about stuff before the show and then, like, after the show for a bit. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to, like, not have them be, like, two and a half hours long. So I can, I can chat with people. I was legit looking at how many bullets I had before I was like, should I spend bullets on this guy? No, it was a good conversation. There's just and there's so many things too where you just thought about it before and after, or like things we wanted to touch on. So there's a lot of things bands do live where you're just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Not that myself or any bands that I've been in are perfect, but it's just a thing. Oh, remember this thing. Uh. Patterson says only sound mana holds nothing but expertise keeps it keeps it that real. Jeremy's fun to have on the road with. 
Because he's like super mellow about stuff. And just gets he just gets stuff done. And you know you know that it's gonna like you know it's gonna sound good and he's gonna take care of you. And Jeremy's really quick with monitors. And I do appreciate that. Cause I, I did I did ask that question yesterday. I was like, how long should it take? You're like, oh like Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, parts. I, I messed up. I was talking too much. Is this thing gonna get in here too? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Everything's gonna let you get it. say that again I'm talking about it before if you want to be really careful get a little bit of that into you that'd be good uh since I'm watching a clip of Bruce Lee versus Chuck Norris in the 80s I think I've mentioned before Wu-Tang has a YouTube channel with like tons of old martial arts films like all the stuff that you want to see I usually have that on like late at night when I'm working. Kim saying you should ask Scott Wilson to come on Dear Bands. He has lots of advice. Or who is who's Scott Wilson? And yeah, I'm I'm down. I'm trying to get industry professionals, not just musicians in there because like it's it's a different vibe with musicians. Like I want to have the industry side on there. Oh, th this is, um, I can't remember this. We're getting close to where there's the, the big boss fight. Um, around here. A spider one. I'm saying saving able bassist. Is he producer as well? This sounds familiar. Former tantric producer. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. No, it, I know the face now. I might give him a shout, see if he wants to hop on the show. There's like, there's a, there's a, a list of people I'm trying to get through for the first bit. And then there's a couple things I want to change um, with the format of the show and, and stuff uh, going forward. So it might be a next year thing, but it's just, it's so, it's so easy because you can use StreamYard. So it makes a huge difference. Someone is grumpy down here. See, they're giving me tons of bullets because there's a big fight coming up soon. They're not being subtle about it at all. Yeah. Just killing everything here. big old hand. I need to do an inventory check. Yeah, we're good. We're good. When we get to the fight, I would bet on me. I would hedge my bet a little bit on the other thing. But I put most of the money on me. I would put enough on the other things so that if I lose, I break even. Let's put it that way. Oh, where did you come from? Oh, wrong gun, wrong gun. I clip through that. Clipping is when the code is like, you're just gonna go through this because we don't know. What you're doing. I 
I was trying to use the flaming bolts. So I think I've got a good amount. Yeah. Wrong button. So I think I fired an exploding round somewhere random. Oh well. Sunshine Studios. That is the stu at Scott Studio. takes two shotgun shells to take that thing down. Seriously. Lots of guns. Oh, my feet are all wet now. So I gotta get over there. So I gotta turn those off somehow. Oh yeah, and then once you turn those off, all the goo comes to me. Okay, I got this. Remember this now. I remember this. Oh, Colorado Springs, yeah. Sunshine, the venue. I got it. That's a fun venue. That's a fun venue. I'll collect that goo. Tap the button. To do. Him saying uh, Silent Live did a more cowbell skit using that name. It's a good. It's a good studio name. I hear somebody. There you are. Bullets. Sees me. There you are. Oh yeah, drain the water. That's out of oh, ammo. Out of ammo. His head stayed on, so I got it. Some on fire. It's really. I know I've said this a couple times. Really nice to have bullets. It's nice to everyone joining today too. It's good to have a, a good little crowd here today, hanging out. But again, also really fortunate and thankful for the, uh, the bullets. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, no. I remember this. Are they going to kill me? Yeah, drop me. I thought I was going to die there for a second. It's doing really crappy. Dancing double headed, yeah, they those those super tall monsters, they do have two heads. They're part of an experiment. I into some kind of nest. Yeah. The kind of nest you don't want to be in. They're really generous with the goo in this game. Second second time through it. See, told you. 
They, you know something's up. Okay, I remember this. I'm going to save because the boss fight's right here. Getting close. Getting close, chapter 15. Then he says, because you're the best gaming host. I I appreciate that. I'm not so sure. I think there's some, lots of great talent out there. I'm just enjoying the couple hours I get to play video games a week. So not, not everyone gets to do that. All right. No, I'm going to save. I'm gonna go do this. Go get this job done here. What? Oh, it just kicked me out. Since we've been hanging with you every Tuesday and Thursday, yeah, definitely for a while. Definitely for a while now. Just trying to, to carve these days out. Do some gaming. I don't know what's gonna happen if I like. Eventually, I do hope to get back to hockey. <laughs> Checkpoint. So this is where you'd put the put the pieces into the puzzle over here. Shit, this is dead. Yeah. So I kind of remember this from last time. I do believe that went there. That went there. Yeah, and then that shut down. Damn it. What am I, an electrician? So I remember that happened last time. So I had to start this back up. And I think this worked. I kind of remember this. Like, I remember this, the boss battle is down here. this and then it would go hang out in the ceiling oh it just being cheap so it would go into the ceiling and then you got to kind of shoot at it being this difficult. Do this fast. Oh, you cheap, 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 cheap. I knew that was gonna get me, but that was that was sacrifice. That wasn't too bad. Bunny Vane saying, "Oh, that thing is so gross. It is gross. It is a gross thing. If you don't like things that look like that, it's pretty gross." 20,000 goo box from it. Nice little. As I told you last time, I think I got 16,000 for it. So maybe they do increase the 
difficulty a little bit um, on your second playthrough. Turn my button that back on. All right, I got a generator going here again. Got disrupted. Yep. Is it good? Are we good? Ah, yeah, we are good. That battle was not that bad. Just making sure my guns have guns in them right now. Because that's the worst. The worst is when your guns don't have any guns. I feel like the, the flaming bolts didn't do anything. You had to use explosive rounds. It's all rainy and wet. It's terrible. I catch cold. This guy's gotta feel pretty gross. Cause this is all like one day technically. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I remember this part. all slow. Whoa. Didn't even flinch. Just gonna walk under that. I can't run. I can't skip this part. Weird stuff's gonna happen. Bunny Van saying everything happens to this dude. Exactly. It's like the worst day, all day, every day. Don't hang out with this guy. Patterson says, according to the HeyLangford.com group, stats show NHL 20 being game 2020. I definitely put some time into NHL 2020 this year. You have no credentials. You'd never appear in a reputable journal otherwise. I'm going to go hang out awkwardly. Nobody in the world Excuse me. I'm going to casually go get some more guns. I have surpassed you in every way you can imagine. No matter. I have what I need. All that's left is the procedure. Indeed. That is why we are here. Yes, I do. We. You wouldn't dare. You would you not dare. Without me. Thank Precisely. You. Thank you. Walking so slow. Oh. I think some people show up here in a second. I gotta start shooting people. Trying to make me feel sorry for you. Nah, I don't remember. I don't remember this. Oh, now I remember. I remember. I gotta pull these things out. Is that it? Just three of them? 
There was goo I didn't get to get on the floor there. Oh, the fair. Is that the end? Is that chapter 14? You know what? I'm I was humming and hawing about it. I'm like, can I can I just try to force through this and finish this game? Or should I leave it for Thursday? But for Patterson, Patterson always asks, are you going to finish the game? I think I can finish this game in 40 minutes. And then I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. As long as I can get past that one stupid part that it was like the floor was all weird and like the... What's it called? The collision detection? Was, Bunny Bane's saying finish it. I got you. I'm a team player. So I'm gonna try to skip this part if I can. You can do it. I think I can, because I've done it before, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I was getting tired. I was getting a little bit tired. I'm not into the yawns yet. You know that's the thing with me. I start yawning. And it's it's all downhill. <laughs> I think I can finish this. If I finish this, I'm playing hockey on Thursday. Pretty much everything that Patterson wants in life <laughs> will be providing. <laughs> Demis says, what are you drinking tonight? I'm drinking water. Nine times out of ten, I'm drinking water. Nobody here at all. Sometimes ginger ale. Ruvik? All right. No, nope, don't need to save. Get near the end, so I'm going to spend the rest of my goo bucks. Harrison's let's just call today Thursday or Thursday. I see what you did there. I see what you did. Weapons. Wow, that's a lot of multiplier on that. I'm gonna upgrade the explosive bolts. I didn't do that before. I feel like I want to do that. I want them to be 150% more exploded. I feel like I might blow myself up though. But you know what? That is the bridge I'm going to cross when I get to it. I think I'm good. Shell says I always drink water. It's just it's the better choice. It's more it's a healthier choice. Just go for this water. Way. With some dinners, I'll have like ginger ale or or root beer. Those are my other two drinks that I think I get. Patterson says no Pepsi. Don says same with a ton of ice I um, ice water today. Our cat, Stella, she loves ice water. She'll we have a little like I don't want to call it a stand because it's just an upside down ice cream bucket that we put <laughs> A little dish with an ice cube and some water, and hey, she'll wait. like wait for it. She loves it. That's her. That's her after food snack thing. All right, I think we're getting close here. Oh, there's th there's like a bunch of not say boss fights, but there's a there's a bunch of things to deal with. There's the one where there's the two safe head guys that you got to fight. That one's fun. I think maybe the, I think I can just use the machine gun on both of them though. That might actually work. Okay, hit the button. There you go. There we go. Right, kid, where are you taking me? Say, say, I'm gonna head off. Gonna relax for the night. Take care, everyone. Thanks for stopping by, Cindy. Much appreciated. I like to chew on ice. That is. I don't want to call it a beverage, but I'm going to call it a snack in <laughs> the summer. <laughs> Chewing on ice all the time.
This level's kind of long, I think. I do. Come down. This way. But then I think this I died way. a few times too when I was doing this one. Uh, this one. Sebastian! Sebastian! Alright. I'm dead. Game over. Oh, never mind. Can I skip this? Can I skip this? Can I skip this? Can't skip this? Patterson, I'm contemplating on quitting the soda intake in January. The thing is, like, I, I remember on tour, like, it was not the healthiest Vegan, just like Joseph drinking said. so much soda, because there's, I will say, there's the Canadian size of soda portions, and there's the American size of soda portions. And they are not the same. I never maxed out my, like, running... Um, what's it called? My running stat in this game. I think I only have eight seconds. Oh, Leslie. Oh, we're getting back here. Backward all again. I knew it. All along. I should probably. Take a little of this for the road. This is back where it all started. This, again, this lantern I've had this entire game. Like, whoever makes this is the best one ever. Canadian large, American small. Yeah, Canadian large is kind of American medium. But, like, an American large is a lot. It's a lot of beverage. Which, I, real talk, I don't mind when it's Dr. Pepper, but... Um, it's a lot. Being reckless right now. I'm kind of just running through stuff. I feel like it doesn't really matter how many more guns and and goo and stuff I have. I feel like the person I am is the person I'm gonna be to finish this game right now. I know I just got a bunch of goo bucks, but it was it was right there. So tough. Don't hit me with the trap. I feel like this is a long way to go just for like two, 
two rounds of ammo. Maybe. Uh, Michelle says, sorry, Gemma says, have you tried drinking mineral water with tea and frost fruit, whatever you want? Oh, like flavored water? No water enhancers? I haven't tried that too much. Like at all, really. Good dolly there. There's two locks on that door. It's gonna be a big fight soon. Big fight happening soon. Michelle says, and milk. I love chocolate milk. Chocolate milk's great. That is, I consume quite a bit of that on the road. Walmart, I'll get like the two liter thing of it, or like the liter thing of it, and you know, we bond. A lot of bullets in a while. Mm, curious. Curious. I think that's the way I'm supposed to go. I'm curious what's in this other room. Wasn't much in here. I was gonna say. Not much. We're getting there. I'm trying to think. I, I remember the, the one boss battle, then there's the obstacle course to get through, and then you kind of get to the final boss, I think. Yep, yeah, and then the last time you can save is over here. No, not the last time you can save is over here. But I'm like close to the end. Or no, no, never mind. Another map fragment. I remember you went downstairs and like there was a save point somewhere in this area. Oh, tired. Exhausted. Skipping. I missed I missed something, but that's fine. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was a box. Box I could smash. Just keep going. Just keep going. This is a weird 
Ruvik moment, I think. Talk to the person. We're good. We're good. Skip it. Now we're back here again. Skip it. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is where it gets crazy. So this is like the end of the game section. There's some gun battles here. So it should be good. In full disclosure, I am getting tired, but I'm gonna I think I can get this done in the next 40 minutes. Half an hour maybe. Not a good place to stand. Not a good place to stand. Is it really hitting me? Is it really hitting me? I don't need the brain goo. Oh no, 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 no. No, climb, climb, climb. I'm waiting for the big guy to come up here. Big guy's stuck, he's all glitching out. That was kind of gross. Oh. I'm gonna get the Magnum out. If I can hit him with that. Because it worked before. Oh! A friend right beside me here. Everyone's on fire. One of these guys shows up with a, a big missile launcher, a big rocket launcher. I don't think he's out yet. All right, next phase. There they are. Oh, wow. There's a healthy amount of foes here. Oh, he's 
rocket launcher guy? Okay. It's Rocky rocket launcher. That's when it turns into a thing. I'm hopefully that he can't hit me from here. Oh, he's got a chainsaw. I just heard it. I just heard it. I'm slow right now. I thought I was holding the button to fire that. Missed. Missed again. Ran into that guy. I feel like I should be hitting that guy with these uh, explosive rounds. There we go. Okay, I thought he had to climb up, but apparently not. There we go. I wasn't worried about this guy. I decided to stay away. I'm glad I heard him at the right second there, because that would have been would have been bad news. It's always bad news when your head comes off. It's a little bit of a not just a game tip, but like a life tip. Your head on. Your head comes off. It's bad. What is that? Oh, it's the eyeballs. All this goo here. I don't even need this goo anymore. I'm just collecting it because I don't want to see it go to waste. Second part here. All right. Waste those. Oh, you. Light the thing. Why is that like the toughest guy ever? Is that it? I thought like there was more to that section. I guess it's kind of the snipery section. <laughs> yep, just keep going. Speed run. Speed run. Okay, we're getting close to the part where there's the, the two guys. This is weird. Just a weird angle. Yeah, 
there's a it's a bit of a thing with the the two the two safe head guys. I'm gonna try to go in guns a blazing. Cause I took him down last time with the machine gun. Um, give me a second here. Definitely don't need that gun for this. All right, I might die here. I do not want to die here, so. I'm gonna try to hit the first one with the, with the exploding round and then machine gun time. Oh my god, it didn't die. Okay, I got one. Oh, I can't run. I can't run. Out of ammo. This is bad. I can't run because the water came up. Okay, I got a bit. I got a bit squirrely there for a second because when the water comes up, you can't run away. So you gotta like, just, just gotta give them the business. All right, well that worked out actually. That's a lot of brain goo. Okay, we're, we are getting there. Rubik. We are getting there. I created this world. You cannot. I skip it. Then I skip it. Don says, "Good job, my much appreciated, much appreciated." Okay, this is the crazy obstacle course thing that I had a lot of problems with last time. So you can't go into the light, or you have to start again. Try not to be too reckless, because I, I'm I am getting I am getting tired. And I do want to finish this. If you ever played Max Payne, this is the Max Payne part of the game. I feel like that was a light bit. Oh, shoot. I learned last time too, you can shoot the lights. I actually don't see what lights are. There's the, okay, this is the beginning of the stuff where I died a whole bunch of times. Because the collision detection here is bad. Just to get through this. Just weird. Oh, I'm gonna get stuck. Oh, God. Cause it's like you got, there we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. It took me forever to do that the first time. Oh, I died here too uh, the first time. Yeah, because you get like stuck on the, the ground a little bit. 
You know what? That was pretty good, because I died a whole bunch of times the first time I played that. Don't say you never tried horchata. Oh, horchata, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't not tried that. Not tried that. I, I'm, a, I'm at a point right now in this game where I don't remember the other things that happen until like the very, very end of the game. I can't skip this. It's a long elevator ride. If I make it out alive, I'm never riding in an elevator again. I hear you. He's it kind of it ties back to the beginning of the game because the beginning of the game you get in the elevator to get away from chainsaw guy Everyone loves chainsaw guy Oh, we're getting there we're getting there Checkpoint I'm tired It can't be it can't be it's me in the bathtub soaking my legs Help! I skip it? All right, I think we're getting here. We're getting close to the end of this negotiation. Funny thing saying, I love and hate this game so much. Such nightmare. There, there's a lot of good stuff about it. It's like, someone's like, skipping. Someone was like, let's make Resident Evil 4, but like with Max Payne and just some stuff. Okay, we were getting to the end of this. We're getting to the end of this. Skipping speed run. Sorry if I'm ruining this for anyone that hasn't seen this before. But the internet is full of the end of this game. Perfectly good tour van. Oh, I remember this. Yep, I knew I was gonna die there. And then I got, I hadn't died in a while though. It's kind of a refresher. I remembered this and I, I did not go the right way. That, that was my fault. That was my fault. That's sloppy. All right, here we go. Pump those legs, buddy. Pump those legs. And I think I gotta go. There you go. There we go. Oh. That's just gross. I can't even, I can see as much as anybody else can see right now. Yeah, that thing. It is awesome and gross. Oh, I remember this, and you gotta use the gun. This is my least favorite part of the end of the game. Because everything's moving. My aim's really bad. And then you're like, am I dying? And I don't think you do. I think you just lose you. Yeah. Oh, and then you get impaled. Get impaled on the spike. Oh. oh. That part's the worst. But he's saying you're awesome playing this. I play this game twice. And always makes. Oh, I gotta pay attention. Sorry. It takes me years to pass every level. I took a long time getting through the first. Oh, there's the bazooka. Yes. Take it. Take it. Sometimes luck's on your side. Sometimes you get lucky. Oh, not a good day. I missed. I hit the face. Oh, come on. I can't remember if I need to hit it in the sack or hit it in the face. It probably sounds bad, but... They want me to hit it in the face. I 
I think that's it. Nope. Never mind. I thought that was it. Patterson's gonna do some gaming. See you later, Patterson. Thanks for stopping by. You always ask me if I'm gonna finish the game. I'm finishing the game here. What's up with that? Oh yeah, you gotta shoot the guy in the face now. Okay, I won't skip this because this is like that. Oh, you're gonna play later. You're gonna play later. I got it. I got it, Patterson. I think this is the end to end, so I don't want to skip this and be be that person that's like, hey, you made it to the end. You totally skipped all of it. Checkpoint. You know what? I think I ripped through that pretty pretty good. That last level. Because I was like, I think I can do it in 40 minutes. And I think, I, right now, I'm at 34 minutes. So. I was like, oh, I gotta, gotta get a bathtub. It's pretty gross in here. Don saying, you did it. Woo. I think I did do it. I think that is the end of the game. No, I gotta smash the brain. Yep. I created this world. Oh, you Rubik. Not keep me here. Get out of here, Rubik. Rubik. No. Uh, oh. Too many. I'm going to finish this. Brownies infused with cannabis oil. Uh. And you smash it, and then you st stumble over, and you. And then you stop on the brain. That's what how you finish the game. That's how you do it. Uh, but Bunny Bane's saying, first time watching, I think it's watching you and really Terminator Red. I'm glad you enjoyed watching this. I'm glad you had fun. I'm here generally <laughs> Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and I've been playing this for the last couple months. Or last, I think, last six weeks. Leave maybe. that one. And those two. Play playing I'm hockey on Thursday. Just being honest. But there's a couple other games that you I'm looking can. at as well. So we'll see. We'll see. That's the end of the game. That's it. I won't skip any more stuff. Because this is the end end. I do I do like this game though. I thought it was it was good. First playthrough was good, the second playthrough was pretty good. And it is fun when you got all the guns and stuff. So you can just run through all recklessly and stuff like that. And I'm glad I could finish this in one sitting tonight. Because I was really having thoughts about not doing the last chapter because I was getting tired. So I'm like, you know what? I think I can do it. I think the strength everyone has given me online tonight, like, I think I can get through this. And just speed run. Buddy Bane, make sure to follow. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. And feel free to subscribe on YouTube if you want. <laughs> Patterson saying Mike beat it. Did beat it. Okay, so I enjoyed watching you play. Thanks so much, Katie. Thanks for being here. Rochelle says you got this. I did get this. It's done. No, it's a good game. Like the, the reviews online were kind of mixed. Um I understand some of the, some of the, um, what's it called? Some of the game mechanics some people didn't like, but I thought it was fine. I don't know. It's a video game. Got to do some stuff. Um, there wasn't a lot of annoying parts in it. Like the parts that I, the parts that I got stuck at, I felt like, um, go, go, I was go. doing it wrong or there was a thing about the game you just had Detective. to kind of figure out. Are you all right? So, like that one, that part near the end with the stupid wires, and I kept getting all just cut out because I kept hitting the wires. Fresh air. He just wants some air. Easy to please. These guys showed up way too late.
no idea what's actually going on in there. Uh, Michelle's saying it's a pretty cool game. It is a cool game. It's good. Like, so Resident, Resident Evil 4, I think, is the best of these types of games. Um, I heard they're doing a remake of it. If they do a remake of it, I'll probably be playing it because it's, it's that good. Also, I'm just curious to see if they messed it up because it was that good. Uh, Don saying in a bath and a shower. I think that dude, the dude in the game definitely needs a shower and some, some clean clothes. Because, like, this whole game kind of took part over, like, one day. All right. I'm going to skip this. And this is the We Couldn't Afford Hurt by Natch Nails, so we had someone else rewrite it. I'm going to skip this. How many times did I die? Less than, less than 10? 15. You know what? I think... I didn't die a lot of times that was, like, cheap. Or at least I didn't feel like I died... Well, actually, no, I, all the times I died were cheap. But, like, I died a few times that it was, like, not my fault. Just saying. I'm just gonna... Actually, what I'm gonna do... Just give me a second here. Where's the thing? There it is. We get a screenshot of that. I'll put the chat back on. There we go. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Eight and a half hours. 15 deaths. I'll take that. Oh, I'm gonna save that game. Like, speeding through this, they're saying it's like 10, 10 to 20 hours. I definitely got more on the 20 hour side of it last time. But I was, it was nice to get this under 10 hours. I think I, I earned that. I earned it. So. All right. I, I gotta shut it down for today. Um, I was tired like an hour ago, but you know what? I'm glad I got through this because I also, Patterson, cover your ears so you're not overly excited, but I was looking forward to playing hockey next week. Or sorry, on Thursday. So I was glad I could get through this. So I wasn't thinking about it the next couple of days. So um, again, if you're watching on YouTube, remember to like, subscribe, and comment to my Hey Lanker Gaming page. If you're watching on Twitch, remember to follow. Bunny Vane, thank you so much for uh, for showing up and for the follow today. And if you're watching on Facebook, just remember to just remember to share, because I'm pretty sure everyone's already liked the page because you guys get the notifications of when I'm going live, which is usually Tuesdays and Thursdays around eight or nine. So, all right, have a good rest of your evening, everybody. I'm just letting some of the adrenaline flow through me right now because when you finish the games, you you do feel a little bit of a reward. But it, I, I think it's dopamine, dopamine hit. So, all right, have a good rest of your night, everybody. Talk to you later. Or wait, I'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday, Wednesday night, Brew. See you at nine o'clock, Eastern time. Intense Machine page. All right. Thanks again. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>